I once had a very short uh, Twitter conversation with Neil Gaiman where he responded to a tweet that I did, something that he had created that I was in awe of as would be expected with anything that he's written and I uh, unfortunately did a grammar mistake which I was mortified by because if you're a writer and someone like Neil Gaiman sees your content or your written dialogue, whatever you've written and there's a mistake, it's just like, huh, ugh. And welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is something I'm excited to talk about. This is a DC and Audible collaboration, uh, The Sandman Story. It's basically the movie without the visualness of it. When the Sandman, also known as Lord Morpheus, the immortal king of dreams, stories and imagination, is pulled from his realm and imprisoned on Earth by a nefarious cult, he languishes for decades before finally escaping. Once free, he must retrieve the three tools that will restore his power and help him to rebuild his domain. So I recently started doing uh, book reviews and this is kind of a book review, but it's an audible book review, and but it's so much more than that. This is like a triple A uh, film, but with an amazing triple A cast and uh, amazing score, uh, amazing narrator, because Neil Gaiman himself narrates. If you've ever been a fan of um, audible books or just books that are narrated, I would suggest definitely putting this in your list. It's one of the best I've listened to. Um, we as a family love to listen to audible books occasionally, especially when we're going on journeys. Um, and there's been a few that have really stuck with us, especially when they dramatize, dramatize it. But in this one, there are so many fantastic voice artists and actors like Andy Serkis, Taron Egerton, Samantha Morton, Michael Sheen, James McAvoy. The cast is truly triple A. And you feel that, that the way it is edited together, the way it is dramatis dramatized is fantastic. I listened to it last night. I couldn't sleep. I sometimes get in, uh, insomnia. And uh, so I stuck this audiobook on it. And a few hours later, I was halfway through. And then I was obviously listening again this morning. But the story itself is so captivating. You're so enthralled in the story right from the beginning. Um, and I haven't felt that with a, a book series quite like this. I would say book series, a story quite like this in a long time. And I feel like I could visualize every aspect of the um, the story held within. I could see it, the way it was told, the way it is edited. It's because you get this amazing collaboration between these amazing actors with uh, their, their obviously a massive skill. You have Neil Gaiman himself who's written it. Um, you have collaborators that he's worked with for a long time. You have an orchestral um, score that is just full of ambience and really kind of the vibrancy of the world that they're trying to create. So you have this amazing uh, writer who narrates the part of the story. Then you have these amazing actors and then it's edited in a way that just makes you it, it just makes the book come alive, which is fantastic. And the story itself is so well told, is so well written uh, that when you hear it, you're, you're there, you're immersed into the story. I don't want to do any spoilers. All I can say is this is one of the best I've uh, heard uh, in a long time. I can see it. I so want it to be a series or a movie, although I don't know it, if it will live up uh, to the hype. Ready Player One. One of the best audible um, books I've ever heard. Uh, if you have a chance, listen to that. If you haven't seen the film, because I like the film, but I, I still feel like the audible book is so much better. Uh, it's just the way it was told. So if you understand that, then you understand that this is fantastic. There's a few like Aliens, which I think have had amazing audible books because they are more films, really, just without the visual perspective of it. You, your, the visualness is in your head, your imagination. And sometimes your imagination is so much stronger than uh, anything anybody can do um, on film. Uh, there's a few exceptions, like Lord of the Rings, some Batman pieces, you know, sometimes filmmakers get it really right and your your the comparison between your imagination at least for me is as good but most of the time in your own imagination because the characters are developed in your way the way you see them when they are spoken the way they are created and it creates this just a fantastic world this is one of those that you you need to hear you need to feel it you need to immerse yourself in it, it won't take much to 10 hours um, but it's just so good so it's a little quick review of something that I saw I thought ah, I want to have a go at this and then once I heard it I thought geez this is so damn good um, from the voice acting, the story, the way it's put together, the, 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 the score is fantastic. The narration from Neil Gaiman himself, such a treat to have that. The task will be done. 
So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Are you excited about this? Have you listened to it already? Um, which are your favorite Audible books, um, especially at this type of caliber? Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.